division game. We're still zero and zero. Did some good things, but I get better tomorrow. I keep growing. Um, it's fun to play back at, at home. Fun to play in front of our fans. What specifically was was better for you tonight than maybe the first exhibition game? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm saying what was better for you tonight than to uh, the first exhibition game? Probably the biggest thing is six hours that we had to talk a lot, especially at halftime, about doing some different stuff in the second twenty. Uh, I thought that, that uh, Central Florida did a really good job of taking us out of what we were trying to run, opposite end of the spectrum of playing at Charlotte. Um, different type tempo, different mm -hmm. type athleticism, uh, extension defensively, ability, disruption defensively, you know, ability to turn you over and block shots, and, uh, as opposed to Charlotte being heavy gap oriented and, and uh, very position oriented. Um, thought we did a much better job in the second <coughs> half attacking them defensively and setting our defense. We did a really poor job in the first half in transition defense, especially off of makes. Did a better job uh, early second half. All five starters finishing double figures. You guys topped the 100 point mark. Is that the kind of offense you think this team can be? Um, I don't know that we'll score 114 again. It, it was a, it was a really fast tempo. We shot it well. Central floor is better than that. Um, they're they're good every year. Um, we made shots. We were really good in the offensive glass, of course. And then we got some. I thought we made some really good interior passes. Uh, we got the foul line, of course, um, as well. But um, shot the three well and, and finished at the rim. You know, Santo and, and Ace, uh, uh, RJ Godfrey, they just, I didn't study these, uh, these stats. I haven't had an opportunity, but they just finish, have an ability to finish at a high clip uh, in the paint. Productive night from Silas, and he got going in the second half scoring line. Just what did you see from Silas today? What I loved was his urgency early second half defensively. He set the tone. We're going to be better <coughs> defensively these second 20. Um, he was a winning player, you know, tonight as he as he is very, very often. He's getting better and better. And then uh, I'm glad that he got to see it going for, for himself a little bit. He's worked really hard on his stroke and it's gotten better and better. Um, six assists, one turnover. I think at halftime still finished with six, but only two turnovers against all that disruption. He played really well. What did you make of Will Kane's effort tonight? It's good. Um, we got to be less risky defensively, all of us. And he was involved with a couple of those plays, but he's playing hard and he's flying around and um, made some shots for five or six. Um, it's pretty good plus minus for him. He, he did some good things. He's, he's really improved in some areas from last year, as, as have um, uh, Dylan and, uh, and Silas. It's, it's nice to see those three guys that come back as sophomores. Um, and who knows what their roles will be whether they'll be identical to late last season or not. You know, Dylan came off the bench tonight, but these guys are just better players. You know, Dylan made a couple of big plays. It just shows how hard he's worked at it. It seemed like Tyron was really effective here out of the yeah. basket. Do you feel like that is a huge you know, asset of the way he needs to play in this offense? Yeah, I, you know, he he played probably as well as, as anyone. You know, now that I look at these stats, um, Blue Kane stats pop off the sheet, of course, but um, – Tyron getting downhill, his efficiency, uh, and, and him moving a two, four assist to zero turnovers. I thought he was disruptive defensively. He has hands on a lot of basketballs. He looked fast, you know, he looked explosive. And he gives us a threat to make shots and, and get downhill, put pressure on the rim as well. Where do you see his experience on a day in, day out basis in this program? Uh, poise, he's, he's been good late clock, his, in late game, his whole career. And he made a couple plays tonight, and he does in practice too, late shot clock. And, we don't really want to play late, late shot clock. Most teams in our league don't, but the defenses in our league are so good, and there's so many of them that we're going to be forced to play late clock at times. And he's just, he's got confidence, he's got poise, he doesn't get sped up, and uh, that showed tonight. How close was Dakota to going, and do you anticipate he'll be available for the opener? Uh, I would think so. Yeah, I, I think he's pretty close. He's just, uh, especially this time of year, if we're not at 100 or close to 100%. Got to get healthy. Which we before we get him back, he's he's a little bit different than these other guards, and, and right there in the conversation to be, uh, you know, to, to to potentially play a, a lot of minutes, it gives us even more depth. And there's been certain, as I said on the radio, there's been certain practices where one of these guys has been the best guard, and there's been certain practices where Dakota's arguably the best guard that practice. And this one, you know, you've got some good depth. 
Uh, but he's a talented guy. We look forward to getting back. Speaking of that depth, how excited are you about the depth you have on this team this year? Really excited. Um, we've got talented guys, uh, bigger, faster, longer, stronger, uh, really competitive. Um, probably the, the most fun about the whole thing is the fact that I'd be shocked if we don't have a good practice tomorrow. You know, and the rest of teams I've been around, it's, it's a good starting point. These guys will come to work tomorrow. Silas, Blue, Dylan, and even these young guys, it's a little bit abnormal. It's a little bit unique in that Asa Newell and Santos Surreal will come to practice tomorrow with a little bit of a chip and understand, hey, we got to continue to get better. And there's certain things that, uh, you know, I may not have done well and I've got to correct. And just a pretty healthy maturity uh, for this team overall. Again, we haven't won a real game yet, but I, I like this team in practice. I look forward to practice tomorrow. Is there anything in particular 